UKIP is launching a new energy policy in a booklet entitled Keeping the Lights On. The reason we need a new energy policy in Britain uh, is quite simply because our current policies, which are dictated by Brussels, uh, involve a massive increase in energy costs. Now, those energy costs are undermining British industry. They are driving energy intensive businesses offshore, taking investment and jobs with them. Uh, not only that, but of course we're forcing up the cost of energy for homes and households. We're forcing families and pensioners uh, into fuel poverty. But there's more to it than that. It's not just that we're forcing up prices. By our over-reliance on renewables and wind farms, uh, what we're actually doing is creating a situation where we cannot guarantee supply. There is a real danger that we should be looking at major blackouts, perhaps even three-day weeks, by the end of this decade. That is the problem that Britain faces. That is the problem that we in UKIP are addressing in our new energy policy. What we have to do in Britain, we have to replace our ageing nuclear power stations and we have to close down perfectly good coal-fired power stations. You may say, why are we closing coal-fired power stations? The answer is very simple, because European rules say we have to. The European Uni Union's large combustion plant directive requires the closure of most of our coal-fired power stations by 2015. And what we're trying to do is replace that uh, capacity with an enormous quantity, an enormous quantity of wind farms onshore and offshore. Now, the thing that the government seems not to have realized is that you can't have wind power by itself because sometimes the wind doesn't blow. You have to have backup, and that backup is usually gas fired power stations to fill in uh, when the wind is quiet. Now, let me let you into a dirty little secret about wind farms. It's obvious, isn't it, that if you generate electricity with wind, you're saving emissions. And yet, if you look at it in detail, you are not saving significant emissions at all. The reason for that is you have to run your gas-fired backup intermittently to match the wind. You have to keep it fired up and ready to go. It's called spinning reserve. That is a very inefficient way uh, of running gas-fired power stations. And when you look at the whole system, the wind farms on the one hand, together with the gas-fired backup on the other, you find that the savings in emissions delivered by wind are somewhere between trivial and zero. Now, you may ask, what about all these green jobs we've been promised? But the truth is that there are a number of uh, academic and economic studies from Britain and from other countries that show that for each green job created by green industries and wind farms, you actually lose up to four jobs in the real economy. How is that? Very simple. We're diverting resources from efficient industries to inefficient industries. As I said earlier on, we're driving up the cost of energy. The result is we drive business abroad, we damage economic growth, we cost jobs. So whenever you hear the phrase green jobs, don't think green jobs, think green unemployment. That is the issue that we're facing. So what would you keep do? UKIP would not be building wind farms. We would not be subsidizing wind farms. Uh, we believe we want to rely on proven economic techniques for generating uh, energy. The first of those, of course, is gas. And what we ought to be doing in Britain is prospecting as fast as we can for shale gas. In America, the price of gas has come down by 50%. That's a dramatic difference that enhances American competitiveness. We should be looking for shale gas in the UK. The second thing we should be doing uh, is building and maintaining coal-fired power stations. Coal is our very reliable and very economical method of generating electricity. And thirdly, nuclear. We have to go with gas first because we can build gas quickly, uh, but we can also keep our coal-fired power stations burning. We should be telling Europe that we will not close down our coal-fired power stations, and we should be putting in hand plans to build more nuclear capacity. That way we'll achieve affordable energy for industry and for families, and we will ensure that the lights stay on to 2020 and beyond.